Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. Um, I was talking with my group the other day and even a couple offices talking about where are all the hygienists at, even dental assistants. Where is everybody? We need dental assistants, we need dental hygienists. I'm in the Kitchener, Ontario area, so I can only speak for my area, but I know even the areas around me, like even two hours away, like London, St. Thomas, Cambridge, that way, we need dental professionals, dental hygienists, dental assistants. If you're a student almost graduating, hopefully you are in our area and then you can start to work for us. If you're a student or a soon to be student thinking, oh, I hope I'm going to be able to find a job, you will, okay? We need hygienists and assistants. I can't speak for other countries, other areas, but I know here we need them. And when I became a dental hygienist, even a dental assistant, when I became a dental assistant, um, oh gosh, like 15 years ago, um, we had too many, like we had too many assistants, too many hygienists to get um, a job was so hard. They were paying a lot less just because they could pretty much offer any anybody anything so if you're new make sure to ask for a good wage because they need you okay um i took the week off a couple weeks ago because my grandma was in the hospital and they couldn't find a hygienist i work for two different offices and both of them couldn't find one hygienist to take my shifts one shift was like a Friday from eight till one, talk about amazing hours. Um, another one was like three till seven, but like not crazy hours. We couldn't find one person to take the shifts, okay? So they had to cancel the whole day. So offices need assistance, offices need hygienists. Um, please, wherever you are, come out, it is possible. Um, if you're a potential student asking about the job market, asking about if this is a good career, yes, it's amazing if you want to get in dental, either dental assisting, dental hygiene, this is an amazing career. Depending on the office, you might not get um, benefits. It does depend on the office. If you work for a larger office, you probably do. If you work for a smaller one, they might not have enough employees to offer that but I mean come on are you going to not work in your dream career because they don't offer benefits and I hear this all the time where um, a student says to me well I will only work somewhere where they offer benefits well that's crazy you guys I have my own um, business also so I obviously I'm tutor I've been tutoring in dental hygiene and dental assisting students now since I think 2005. Wow. Um, time goes by fast. Do I get benefits because I work for myself? No. Um, am I not going to tutor because I don't get benefits? No. Like, it's just crazy. Um, when, when people tell me, oh, well, I have to have benefits. I'm not going to work in an office that doesn't have benefits. Trust me, it's a great thing to have. I totally understand that. But I have benefits through my husband. Thank goodness. Because um, we don't get benefits, at least here, I don't get pension. But am I not going to have my, my dream career because of that? No. Um, another thing that I hear often is um, um, just people asking about the job market. So even if you're a potential student, don't not take the dental hygiene or dental assisting program because you're worried to get a job afterwards. Because in a year, for assisting in two years for hygiene, things could change. But even now, we need people anyway. So that's not somebody's excuse. Um, when I first became a dental assistant and a dental hygienist like 15 years ago, there were too many of us. So everybody said to me, including all of my you know friends, family said to me like, oh, do you really want to do this? You might not get a job afterwards and like making money is important. I'm like, well, this is something that I want to do. So in two years, things could change. I'm not not going to take my dream career program just because of what might happen, right? So don't let that hinder you. It's an amazing career. Um, I do have um, a Facebook group that I manage called Passion for Dental. Make sure to join that group if you have questions, if you need some positivity. Um, I find a lot of dental hygiene Facebook groups, dental professional Facebook groups out there are so negative these days, in my opinion. Um, I wanted to create one that was positive. Um, 
I'm not saying you, you have to agree with everything and everything is sunshine and roses, but if you post something like, I hate my job so much, you're not going to be allowed in the group type thing, right? Like I want it to be positive, ask questions, do not be afraid to ask questions, you know, all of that. So I'll leave the link for you guys on the bottom if you aren't in there yet. Um, but yeah, you guys, let me know if you need anything and let's have some Sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, let's have some passion. Let's have some positivity again, because this is an amazing career. Um, it takes a, it takes a special person to be a nurse, for an example. Well, it takes a special person to be in the dental profession too, because we're in healthcare. We see people. So thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.